The object looks strange. Uh, it uh, reflects uh, a lot of sunlight, and from that, one infers that the diameter is 20 kilometers. The laws of physics just got a brutal reality check. NASA is tracking an interstellar comet, 3I Atlas, that is doing something so bizarre, it's been flagged as a top-level anomaly. This object is simply a piece of another solar system that was expelled and it has been traveling through interstellar space for hundreds of millions of years, billions of years. Forget everything you know about comets being passive, icy wanderers. This object is actively fighting the sun. It's creating a violent magnetic disruption, bending the solar wind in a way that, until now, was thought to be exclusive to planets with massive molten metal cores. Many people are crazy about this discovery because it's not just an oddity. It's a clue that something profoundly strange is lurking in our cosmic neighborhood. The thing that fought the sun. You see, space is mostly empty, governed by predictable forces. Planets orbit, stars burn, and the solar wind streams outwards from our sun in a constant, powerful torrent. But on August 18th, this predictable cosmic weather was interrupted by something that, to put it mildly, shouldn't have been there. Three different NASA spacecraft, scattered across millions of miles of space, all recorded a synchronized shockwave. At 8.03 Coordinated Universal Time, the SOHO spacecraft's plasma sensors detected a massive, bow-shaped disturbance downstream from an interstellar comet known as 3I Atlas. It was as if the solar wind, a river of charged particles flowing at over one million miles per hour, had just slammed into an invisible wall. Just two minutes later, the Parker Solar Probe, designed to fly into the sun's corona, registered a sharp, violent spike in the local magnetic field strength. Then, by 811, the MAVEN orbiter, circling Mars, picked up a high-energy particle deflection event that matched the comet's exact coordinates. Three independent, highly advanced pieces of technology all told the same impossible story. The thing nobody tells you is that in space, getting one spacecraft to notice an anomaly is interesting. Getting three to see the exact same thing at the exact same time from completely different vantage points is undeniable proof. It rules out instrument error, glitches, or a statistical fluke. This was real and it was happening because of a comet. What many overlooked is the sheer absurdity of this situation. Comets are not supposed to have significant magnetic fields. They are often called dirty snowballs, loose collections of ice, dust, and rock. They don't have the vast, spinning, molten metal cores like Earth or Jupiter, which are the engines that generate powerful planetary magnetospheres. It's this magnetosphere that protects Earth, carving out a safe bubble in the solar wind. Dr. Richard Kowalski, whose team first flagged the anomaly, stated that a phenomenon of this magnitude simply shouldn't be possible for an object of Atlas's size. His words were echoed across the scientific community, sending a ripple of disbelief and excitement through NASA and the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Many people are crazy about what this implies. This wasn't just a discovery. It was a direct challenge to the fundamental laws of astrophysics. The event was immediately flagged as a level one anomaly, a classification reserved only for discoveries that defy our most fundamental and trusted models of the universe. It was a signal that we had just stumbled upon something entirely new, something that could rewrite the textbooks. This tiny comet had just picked a fight with the sun and somehow it was holding its ground. Now scientists had to figure out how, how things should work. To truly grasp why the actions of Comet 3I Atlas are so mind-bending, you first have to understand the rules of the game. Our solar system is dominated by the sun, not just by its gravity, but by its energy. The sun constantly spews out a stream of charged particles, protons and electrons, called the solar wind. Imagine a relentless, invisible hurricane blowing outwards from the sun in all directions, traveling at speeds between one and two million miles per hour. This wind is so powerful that if Earth didn't have its magnetic field, it would strip away our atmosphere and boil our oceans, leaving our planet a barren rock just like Mars. Our magnetosphere acts like a shield, deflecting the vast majority of these particles around our planet, creating a teardrop-shaped bubble called the heliosphere. 
The visible result of this cosmic battle is the Aurora Borealis and Australis, the northern and southern lights. Now, let's talk about comets. For centuries, we've seen them as passive travelers. They are relics from the formation of star systems, lumps of ice and dust. As a comet gets closer to the sun, the heat begins to vaporize its ices, creating a glowing cloud around it called a coma. The solar wind then pushes this material away from the comet, forming two distinct tails. There's the dust tail, which is the bright curved one we can often see with the naked eye, and then there is the ion tail, or plasma tail. This second tail is the important one for our story. The sun's ultraviolet radiation strips electrons from the gas in the coma, creating charged particles, or ions. These ions are then grabbed by the solar wind's magnetic field and carried straight away from the sun, forming a long, straight, and often blue glowing tail that can stretch for tens of millions of miles. You see, a comet does interact with the solar wind, but it's supposed to be a one-way street. The comet is a victim, not a combatant. It gets its tail ripped away from it by the solar wind's immense power. While this process does create a very weak, induced magnetosphere around the comet, it is incredibly fragile. It's more of a magnetic ghost than a true shield, thousands of times weaker than Earth's. It's supposed to bend and flex with the solar wind, not the other way around. What NASA saw with 3 I Atlas was the complete opposite of this. The comet wasn't just having its plasma tail shaped by the solar wind, it was actively deflecting and bending the magnetic field of the solar wind itself, creating a shockwave powerful enough to be detected across the inner solar system. It was exhibiting a magnetic signature, as NASA veteran Dr. Christina Cohen noted, more akin to a small planet than a simple comet. The rules were clear, yet Atlas was breaking them. The next question was no longer what happened, but a much deeper one. Why? Theories and speculation. When a discovery breaks the known models of physics, scientists don't just throw up their hands, they get to work. The data from the three spacecraft was undeniable, so the teams at NASA and other institutions began a frantic search for an explanation. To put it mildly, the theories that emerged were as extraordinary as the discovery itself. The leading and most controversial hypothesis centered on a phenomenon called magnetic reconnection. This is a process where magnetic field lines in a plasma snap and violently reconfigure themselves, releasing incredible amounts of energy. We see this happen in the Earth's magnetosphere and in solar flares on the Sun. It's a powerful and well-understood process. But for it to happen with a comet, and on this scale, was unheard of. The theory goes that the comet's own incredibly weak, induced magnetic field lines became entangled with the powerful magnetic field lines carried by the solar wind. As the comet moved, the tension built up until, like a rubber band stretched too far, the field lines snapped. This sudden release of magnetic energy could have created the shockwave that Soho, Parker, and Maven all detected. The thing nobody tells you is that for this to work, the numbers have to add up. The initial calculation suggested that for a magnetic reconnection event, this violent, Comet 3I Atlas would need an intrinsic magnetic field thousands of times stronger than any comet has ever been known to possess. This led to even wilder speculation. Could the comet have a solid metallic core? This would be a shocking revelation, as comets are thought to be loose agglomerations of ice and dust, not solid bodies with differentiated cores like planets. Another theory, proposed by a team at MIT, suggested that perhaps the comet wasn't generating the field itself. They proposed that during its long journey through interstellar space, 3I Atlas may have passed through a highly magnetized nebula, or the remnant of a supernova. In this scenario, it could have picked up a shell of magnetized material that it carried with it into our solar system. This shell would act as a magnetic shield, giving it the power to deflect the solar wind. What many overlooked in the frenzy of these new ideas was history. This wasn't the first time we'd seen something strange. In 2017, the interstellar object Oumuamua baffled scientists with its strange, elongated shape and its slight acceleration away from the sun without any visible outgassing. Decades earlier, in 1994, 
the Ulysses probe registered bizarre magnetic readings as it passed through the tail of a comet. And even further back, the Voyager 2 probe detected what seemed like invisible walls at the edge of our heliosphere. Space is constantly showing us things that don't fit our models. Each of these theories stretched the boundaries of our knowledge, painting a picture of a universe far stranger than we imagined. A new kind of visitor. So what does all of this mean? It's easy to see this as just a fascinating but distant cosmic puzzle. A weird comet does a weird thing millions of miles away from Earth. But the implications of this discovery are profound and hit much closer to home. Many people watching this are probably wondering, if this is all true, are we missing a key detail? Is our fundamental understanding of the universe just plain wrong? The thing is, this is how science works. But this isn't just a minor correction to the textbooks. This is a potential revolution. This single event challenges the very core of our models of planetary formation. If a small, icy comet can possess or acquire a magnetic field this powerful, it changes everything. It suggests that the galaxy might be filled with a new class of object we never knew existed, magnetized travelers drifting between the stars. Perhaps a strong magnetic field isn't something that only develops late in a large planet's life. Maybe magnetism is a fundamental ingredient from the very beginning. You see? But not all things are what they seem. And this is where the story goes from strange science to something else entirely. The hard truth is, the natural comet theory is the most conservative one. Other, wilder ideas are being whispered in the halls of astronomy. What if these magnetic fields aren't random? One theory suggests they act as a guidance system on a cosmic superhighway. Some models predict that vast filaments of magnetic energy stretch between star systems, and these comets could be naturally following these invisible pathways, turning the galaxy into an interconnected network. Then there's the more startling possibility. If no known natural process can create this, maybe it isn't natural. Could the magnetic field be artificial? A powerful shield to protect a probe on a million-year journey? Or perhaps it's part of a propulsion system, a magnetic scoop pulling in interstellar hydrogen for fuel. The most extreme version of this theory suggests we just witnessed a flyby of an automated von Neumann probe, a self-replicating robotic craft sent by an alien intelligence eons ago. Or there's a theory that splits the difference. Perhaps the comet is just a natural shell of ice and rock that, billions of years ago, crashed into and absorbed a piece of ancient, powerful technology from a long-dead civilization. An artifact whose power source is still running, generating the impossible magnetic bubble around it. A ghost in the machine, screaming its presence across the cosmos. On a more practical level, this discovery has a direct impact on our own survival. We live at the mercy of the sun. A powerful solar flare, a coronal mass ejection, could cripple our power grids and send our society back to the Stone Age. Understanding how the solar wind interacts with magnetic fields is the absolute key to predicting and protecting ourselves. It showed us a new, violent way these interactions can play out. It's like the universe sent us a small controlled demolition to study before the real earthquake hits. What we learn from this impossible event could one day be the very thing that saves our world from a solar catastrophe. This little comet has given us a warning and a whole new set of incredible, terrifying possibilities to explore. If a tiny comet can break the laws of physics, what other impossible things are lurking out there in the dark? What do you think is the real story behind this comet? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more cosmic mysteries.